The road to development is not an easy one. The road is bumpy and sometimes you meet a lot of challenges along the way. Such was the experience as the Zimbabwe heads of Christian denomination ZHOCD personnel traveled to Gawa where they have done great work to sensitize villagers through their advocacy work. They have shown that through commitment, dedication and persistence, development is much possible. The ZHOCD project in Gawa, Gokwe South, in the southern region of Zimbabwe, has brought more relief to the villagers. A lot of success stories have come from this area.
Clinic yetu yeka wa clinic yanga ine challenge pakatanga project pakutora kuti kuti clinic acha bend zvichifira asi yezvino yava almost 95% complete tinoda kupa kutenga kuru kuzimbabwe medical patient nomination zviborani takatenderera kubva kuti borani chekwa sub kuputugwa e chiborani chekwa sub kukasamara chekwa sub kukusunurai so takatoona hedi kuti kuchine challenge asi Ziborani zvataka shikira tikakumbira vese ve DDF vakazvigadzira kubva pazvakagadzigwa havachaiti zviya zvekuti pamwedzi pamwedzi vanodaidza pump mind nekuda kwe project takano cons approach the DDF coordinator Mr Fekechi vakanyatsoti pa specialist kana na zvino vari kuno if you have got any problem mawadzeni tidaidzei to kupa ivano ma specialist vanogadzira Tukuni kwa kia follow up kusiboranzi waka gazi kwa Hava sina chichemo Chekuti wawo kutipa mwezi wawo kwa kusiboranzi ya jigazi kwa Panguwa imo chete Ta Pataka ita full council meeting Ne Council Mfull council meeting Makanzi Tavaro nde zira mashandiru wa rikuita project Nesu hava kanzi kwa zavari kupamu wani Pa full council meeting Paka tukula chichemo Chekuti desu haa shiku wani Project ngai kwa vema wazi wose e mugo kwe sauti. E, kana neniwa, jikuwa nse kutu shaka naka. Nukuti nda wakoni. According to ZHOCD coordinator for Gokwe South, Philemone Wami, he says the project has brought light to Gawa village and is confident that the community is now able to demand proper services from the relevant authorities in an engaging manner. Mwana antina ama wami, um, Working for the ZHOC DE Neutral Care Project in Gokwe South and the Midlands province of Zimbabwe. Um, I think uh, what I want to say is that uh, the project that we have been running for the past three years is assisted uh, community members in Gawa South to be aware of their human rights, to be aware of issues around uh, promotion of peace. Uh, whilst I was engaging, whilst we were engaging with the community uh, membership, where one of the key issues that they have highlighted is a key success of the project is that uh, they now have uh, information knowledge on um, uh, channels of uh, communications. They know where to address their issues, uh, the g 2 bearers that they can address their issues, and uh, more so they are now able to write. Uh, petitions uh, requesting or demanding uh, improvement of services. I can give an example where the community wrote uh, petitions to the uh, district development fund to uh, requesting issues around uh, drilling of bowls, rehabilitation of bowls. And those petitions were addressed, um, the issues that were raised in those petitions were addressed by the district development fund in Gokwe South. It's one of the uh, key successes. Now people have um, uh, improved access to, uh, to potable water in the district. And then the other uh, key milestone of this project is that the Gawa Clinic that has been lying idle for ages, it was uh, not operational from around 2016, but because of the advocacy work and the lobbying that we did with the community and the leadership, the clinic is now almost complete. Uh, we are uh, getting news that uh, uh, officially the clinic should be opening its doors to the first patients by end of this year, December 2022. And then the other thing is that we have also assisted in um, creating community cohesion within uh, the ones that we are working with. Uh, it's one of the key milestones that now uh, village has community members, the youth, the women groups, people with disabilities are now able to come together uh, at one platform, share views, share ideas on what the, uh, the, needs that, what the needs that they want addressed. And then the project has also uh, raised uh, and increased uh, participation of um, the communities. Civic participation has greatly improved as a result of the project. When we were starting the project, a lot of people were hesitant, a lot of people were not very clear, but now because of uh, the engagements that have been going on, I'm glad to highlight that uh, 
we are now having most of our workshops uh, full capacity. Uh, members are now turning up. Like this last uh, activity that we had, it, we had more males. Uh, I haven't done the gender analysis, but we, we had more males. And for me, uh, it's a huge improvement in that uh, previously we were not having, uh, we were having limited participation from the, uh, from the males. But uh, because of the continuous engagement, we are now having an increased number of um, um, males participating. And uh, one, uh, some of the issues that the communities are raising is that if it was possible, it, if it was possible, uh, it would be good to increase the coverage of the project, increase more words, uh, increase the, the period uh, of the project so that more, peop more and more people can then be aware of uh, their rights, can be aware of the devolution and decentralization processes.